Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Top Tech Astro channel. Now we are thrilled to announce that the Smart Astronomy Wireless Controller, Salvita, previously called Astro Station, has been officially launched for global sales. Shift from the Latin word for star life, Salvita represents the passion in pursuit of the universe and also symbolizes Top Tech Astro's ongoing dedication to innovation and simple astrophotography experiences for everyone. Now let's have a first look at the Stalvita through unboxing with me. You can see that the name has been changed from Astro Station to Stalvita. Open the package box and you can first see a quick start guide and a box of accessories. Take out the foam and now you can see this little black controller Stalvita. One antenna and an external Wi-Fi card. Next, let's look closer at Stellavita, the controller box. This is a simple graph here. Here are four DC power outputs and a DSLR port. And here is a DC input, power switch, and an antenna SMA connector. On the other side, there is a SD card slot and a Type-C port, which currently is only used for firmware burning. This side is a RJ45 Gigabit Ethernet port, two USB 3.0 ports and two USB 2.0 ports. So this is the overview of Salvita. This is a dual-band antenna and a Wi-Fi card. Next, let's see what is inside the cable box. First, there is a 1 USB 3.0 Type-A to Type-B cable of 1.5 meter. Also, there are some other power cables. In total, there are 5 power cables here. First is the male to female DC output cable of 1.5 meter long. The second is the male-to-male -male cable of half meter long. The third one is also the male-to-male -male cable of half meter long. The last two are male-to-male -male cables of one meter. So all accessories are presented here. Next, I will show you the connection guide of Stellavita. This is an iOctrom HAE43C mount. We have installed it on the tripod in advance. The mount installation is quite easy. You just need to use two screws of the mount to install the mount to the tripod. Then we install the telescope. Here we use Arri Disc 106mm APO. By the way, a heavy hammer will be needed if you are using a non-harmonic equatorial mount to make all rigs stable. After installing the telescope, now we can connect the camera and filter well to the telescope. Then we can install the guide scope and the Stellavita to the telescope. This is TopTech Astro guide scope. It looks longer because I use an extension tube for shading. Then install the Stellavita 
to the telescope. Next, I will show you the cable connection. First is a data cable connecting the mount to Stellavita. The second data cable is from the Stellavita to the main camera. The third the data cable is from electric focuser to the Stavita. We suggest you to use cables with shrubs so that you can manage all cables more easily. The fourth data cable is used for connecting the field well and camera. The fifth data cable is from the guide camera to the Stellavita. Finally, there are still some power cables. First, use a power cable to connect the camera and Stellavita. Next, use a power cable to connect Stellavita to the mount for power supply. Lastly, use a male to female cable to power up the mount. We strongly recommend using a 12 voltage DC power source with at least a 2 ample output to ensure your power input is sufficient for all connected equipments. Then, connect the cable to the outdoor power station. So now we finish all the connection stems for Stellavita. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Stellavita review content.